Hi guys. It is a lovely winter or spring night here. I, <laughs> this goddamn dog, it is. It, it is Tuesday, February 6, 2024. So, if some of you might not might be aware, I have not had any goddamn margarita mix for, in, for my, I have not been able to find any Simply Limeade uh, the past few days as global civilization collapses. So, finally get my Simply Limeade. I bought four bottles of the shit. Bring it home, make my first margarita in two days. We go down to the dock. Right, little dog? I take two swallows of my drink and the dog knocks my drink over. So anyway, I'm fixing that and now that I'm finally able to calm my mind. So before I get in uh, to uh, whatever it is I'm going to be blabbing about tonight, just while I have you here before you go off to your cute cat videos, I do want to let folks know that I'm very excited, kind of an impromptu, uh, my good friend and I, my good buddy um, Elliot Jacobson and I, will be uh, getting together tomorrow night uh, and I think that I will have time to publish our uh, talk here on Collapse Chronicles tomorrow night and Elliot should have it on Climate Casino so on one of the CC's you can find that it might be Thursday morning before we get it up but anyway what we're talking about on this is uh, the ain't gonna happen, the, the AGHs. Uh, if, if you had the somewhat schizophrenic uh, <laughs> experience uh, of, of listening to the, the latest interview that uh, Elliot had with this apocalyptic <laughs> A couple of days ago where Elliot was being hounded by this uh, <laughs> not entirely a clueless moron you know apocalyptimists they aren't entirely clueless they, they understand we're so fucked they just think it's all gonna end up okay anyway and, and, and one of the major reasons, probably the major reason, is because all of the ways they think that we're going to get out of this shit is shit that ain't going to happen. They, they can talk until they're blue in the fucking face. All of this, this jabber, yabber, jabber, blather going on in the Doomer community. These people who just don't want to admit how fucked we are. They, yeah, we're fucked, but we're going to get out of it. Yeah, yeah right. It ain't going to happen. So anyway, what I would really like to do uh, with that interview, I wish there was some way. Uh, I just don't know how to do this. If anybody listening, uh, maybe uh, the artist formerly known as Osama Number 5 or the artist formerly known as Vegematic, does anybody know how... To go through that interview that, that Elliot uh, Jacobson had a couple of days ago with this dude who shall remain nameless uh, and, and, and just parse out Elliot's part without hearing from the, 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 these apocalyptimists ain't gonna happen preachers uh, and, and just put Elliot's responses to these guys and, and and just kind of mash them up. I think if we could do that, we would have one of the most intelligent, well-articulated uh, just explanations to any clueless fucking moron, an uh, apocalyptimist, why it ain't gonna happen, okay? I, I really wish I knew how to do this, but 
So Elliot has uh, has drawn up a list of his top 30 ain't gonna happens. So he has his list of his top 30, and I have my list of uh, of my top 30. So what we're gonna do tomorrow is uh, compare our list to see how many, you know what I'm saying, how many showed up on both of our lists. Like, I guarantee you uh, this fucking carbon capture, I, 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 I mean, you can be 100% sure a no-brainer like that is going gonna, is gonna to show up on our list. So anyway, what we're going to do is, is compare our list of top 30 ain't gonna happens tomorrow and uh, so anybody listening to this I, I it's it's I don't think it's gonna be open uh, in a chat because that's too distracting for me but anybody uh, I, I just want you guys to think about it and tune in to that and, and, put, and let us know which ones we forgot but uh, do tune in to that tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. So anyway, that's just kind of a, a commercial for my for Collapse Chronicles and Climate Casino, the two double C's in the Doomosphere. But uh, we're going to talk about uh, kind of one thing that I, I really appreciated in that interview uh, that Elliot had, you know, just making clear to this guy who apparently still supports global industrial civilization, that, that all these apocalyptimists think that we can just tweak a few things pull a little bit of pixie dust uh, out of the air or out of our asses or wherever the shit they make pixie dust uh, at and, uh, and, and that we're just going to be able to carry along with, with our global industrial civilization. Let's go right on uh, living this, uh, this ridiculous pipe dream that's killing this planet. Uh, and and, and, and so poor Elliot was, just, just, you know, just, just making it clear to this moron. You do understand that I am in full favor of the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization. Global industrial civilization is, uh, is certainly one of the major ingredients of ecological overshoot. It is global industrial civilization that, that is killing this planet. Uh, I've been saying it, goddamn, for 15 years. Derek Jensen's been saying it longer than, than, than I have. That, that anybody supporting all of this apocaloptimistic car, you know, it, 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 any of this fucking bullshit. Uh, that thank God ain't gonna happen, you, you, you know, to extend global industrial civilization, you're, you're cheering on ecological overshoot and, and the collapse of this planet. I, I, and, 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 I, and I just don't get it. I, I, I never know who I'm talking to anymore. So anyway, I think it was the day after that I opened up medium.com and this fellow, uh, who, whoever it was, I can't remember, what he was doing uh, on Medium, he was dredging up this, uh, this, this series of short videos made by one of my heroes, a fellow named Jack Alpert. I had the pleasure of, uh, I, I had the pleasure of interviewing Jack Alpert. You can find it here. Just put in uh, Collapse Chronicles interviews Jack Alpert. And I had the pleasure of talking to him for an hour, and that was based a lot on this. So if you haven't seen this, this series of videos, uh, I'll just put the link to the medium 
article, or you just go on Jack Alpert's YouTube station, I believe, and it'll it'll come up. Uh, and it's called the series is called Rapid Population Decline or Bust, and uh, it's an excellent uh, for people trying to figure out. Uh, Elliot, if you haven't seen this, uh, you should definitely see it. So, Jack Alpert, uh, I so what he comes up with with his number crunching. He is advocating for a global population uh, of 100 million is what he thinks is a sustainable population. Now, I call a sustainable population of human zero. You know, you understand uh, I have also uh, interviewed Less Unite. Uh, on here advocating for a human population of zero, but 100 million is a lot closer to zero than 8 billion. So I applaud Jack Alpert, but I, I guess I've always misunderstood what Jack Alpert is, is, is talking about. Uh, I thought he was talking about all of this time getting the human population down to 100 million to save the planet. But I, I obviously, uh, I, I was misunderstanding this man because I'm going back, and so I listened to this series, and I think it was Martin Edick who, uh, who brought this, so he actually... Hold on. Eric Lee, I'm sorry. This is a fellow named Eric Lee who is bringing this uh, rapid population decline. It's a 10-part video series. They're very short. Uh, and he actually puts a lot of the video transcript. And so he gets in here uh, it, Jack Alpert pretty quickly into this thing, he starts talking about, as I'm quite sure we talked about uh, in our interview, is what uh, Jack calls the civilization death spiral. And he explains what the civilization death spiral is uh, and, and what over and over has killed uh, civilizations. I uh, will let you go listen to his excellent uh, video series. Here, so I'm just gonna just do a small bit of the uh, transcript from uh, from Jack Alper's videos from uh, 12 years ago, talking about the civilization death spiral. This death spiral was embedded in the Mayan, the Mongol, the Inca, and Roman civilizations, and they are all gone. Civilization death spirals are still with us today. Somalia contains one, and it collapsed. Bad as that was, meaning the collapse of Somalia, as bad as that was, I am not worried about a single nation collapse. Instead, I am worried about global civilization collapse. Well, I am too. I am worried uh, that every day, uh, I mean, I'm sounding like Book Hermit here, every day that global industrial civilization does not collapse. Global industrial civilization is going to collapse, okay? The, 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 this shit is going down, all right? But uh, as Book Hermit has said how many times now? About 300,000 every single day that this shit show continues it, it, it is going to be, it's going to be that much harder 
for the few earthlings, fellow earthlings we leave behind to rebuild their, their lives uh, after this shit show goes down. So there's no saving it, so bring it on, and of course, uh, one more time, let me say, I am the biggest fan of global, I am a human, alright? I know that's hard for you to believe, I am a fucking human, unfortunately, as embarrassed as I am to admit that, I am the biggest fan of global industrial civilization out of 8 billion people. I thank God for global industrial civilization every fucking day of my life. Uh, from, from the moment I pour my uh, planet-saving cup of organic coffee uh, in the morning until I uh, pour my, uh, my end times margarita at night and everything in between. I, I thank God for global industrial civilization, but uh, I also understand that the that the shit show needs to come down. Uh, I'm worried about the so so what I guess Jack was leading up to. He was talking about 100 million people leading the same material lifestyle of an average American and he's not counting the you know the the top top echelons he's talking about people well maybe not living in single wide trailers but you know just a notch above single wide trailers that uh, he is in 100 percent support of 100 million people living planet-wide to the level of whatever the average American uh, means at least 12 years ago. So now his number is probably a lot lower than 100 million. But anyway, I never realized that Jack Alpert was a, uh, was a fan uh, of global industrial civilization. And then this next story which appeared right next to that one uh, by this fellow. I, I, I've never known if this guy writes for medium named Ray Katz. Ray, if you're listening to this, uh, could you please fill us in? Are you or are you not a fan of global industrial civilization? So I was going to include this his essay in my Good News Monday roundup yesterday, but I'm a little unclear what, you, what you're saying here, brother. The, the name of his rant uh, on, I think this was from Sunday, was simply, No Children, for so many reasons, we may be reaching the last generation. And so I, um, I, he starts out with quoting Bob Dylan, which is uh, always good to start a rant quoting Bob Dylan, but I'm going to skip over that and just get to uh, the, uh, the I, I guess, the kernel of what he's talking about here. And this is what I was going to include in my Good News Monday roundup. Take it away, Ray. <clears throat> Current and incoming generations are having fewer children, and many young people want no children. They are aware of the trouble the planet is in. They are aware of the ongoing failure of leaders and see it as cruel to bring children into a doomed world. Only when and if we sharply reverse course, ain't gonna happen. End fossil fuels, ain't gonna happen. And end the ridiculous cruelty, greed, selfishness, and brutality that our so-called civilization was built on, ain't gonna happen. Only then will young people feel 
It is a safe world for children. Well, it ain't going to happen. It's never again going to be a safe world for children and other living things. And, back to Ray, and they are right. Choosing to have and raise children is a solid endorsement of life. Uh, I, I would say choosing not to have and raise children is a solid endorsement of life of every single other earthling humans share this planet with. So I'm going to disagree with you a little bit on that one, Ray. Uh, choosing to have and raise children is a solid endorsement of life, unless you're anything but a human, of belief that the world goes on and that we will have a future, I guess, by we, in this case, meaning humans. That if you choose to be a breeder at this point, that you are a clueless moron, obviously an apocalyptimist who believes that we will have a, that humans will have a future. When we consider that reproduction is both a biological and cultural driven phenomenon, a widespread and growing refusal to have children is a very strong and clear warning, blah, blah, blah. But we are hearing directly from young people everywhere, everywhere, huh, that they do not want children because of the state and the fate of the planet. So, uh, right there, uh, well, I don't agree so much about that one part about choosing to have children is an endorsement of life, unless you're a, a, unless you're a human. But basically, I agree with all that, but then he goes off on the rest of, uh, and, and he completely loses me. So, I honestly do not know if this man, he, he says they're right for, uh, for feeling that way, that he doesn't blame them for feeling that way, uh, but, but I can't tell whether he thinks it's a good thing or a bad thing that more and more uh, young people are, are realizing how fucked we are, uh, that it ain't gonna happen uh, all of that shit he talks about ain't gonna happen, and they're coming to the only natural conclusion uh, that anyone w w with a damn brain can come to. Don't breed. Uh, so, Ray, are, 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 you, are you for or against them? Uh, you, you know, I am 100% uh, in, in, in favor of, uh, you know, I, I have answered the question before, why do you do this with your life, Sam? Why do you spend your life, and, 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 and my answer, if, if there is anything I ever say in my entire life that keeps one human being from being born on this planet, Okay, one human being, my life's work has been a success. If I have prevented the, uh, the birth of one human on this planet for anything I have ever said, uh, I have succeeded in my mission uh, 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 being a, uh, a Doomer YouTube rock star. I asked uh, Elliot if uh, the the uh, the ain't gonna happen of Sam Mitchell ever finding a woman in his life uh, to share his life with. Uh, did you get uh, Sam Mitchell ever finding a woman uh, on your list? And uh, he said he forgot that one. 
he wanted to know exactly what that had to do with saving the planet. Well, it doesn't have anything to do at this point. I'm 64 years old. But I am proud to say it, and I honestly believe this, that uh, you know, I got a vasectomy at age 22 the year before I got married, and I honestly believe that if, if, if my wife had uh, married a, a guy who did not have a vasectomy, that she would have had kids with him. The only reason she did not have kids is because I was firing blanks. So I honestly think with her, and, and I'm 100% convinced with the woman after her who unfortunately only had one kid. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sorry, unfortunately already had one kid when uh, she got together with me. And we were pretty much together for 12 years from her age, 23 to 35, during that, those uh, childbearing years. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that that woman would have had minimally three more kids. So I honestly believe between those two women, my ex-wife probably would have had two, and Lulu would have had minimally for I think that uh, Sam Mitchell uh, having a, a wife and or a girlfriend has kept at least five humans from being born. And then, of course, for all of the other fucking humans, those five would, uh, would have spawned. So yes, Elliot, uh, at least uh, there was a time when uh, Sam Mitchell finding a girlfriend uh, was indeed uh, saving the planet. But now, of course, where it's irrelevant, uh, I guess that will be uh, number 31 on my list. Uh, but despite the fact that I have given up every shred of hope, uh, I was just reading here on this uh, on Medium, this guy, 65-year-old, complaining about aging. He was complaining about aging, 65 years old, you know, talking about how his damn body's falling apart and all of these drugs he has to take uh, just to stay alive another day. And, 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 he, and he said, I can't remember the, the last time I, I, something like, I can't remember the, the last time that I made love without a blue pill, meaning the last time that he was able to get it up to get laid w w w without some, you know, chemical interaction. And my response to him, uh, w w w you know, w was boo the fuck who? Uh, I don't need a, uh, a, a, a goddamn blue pill. Uh, and I said, even though I do no drugs, and when I compare myself to most other 64-year-old men, I'm in pretty damn good shape. I mean, a few teeth falling out of my mouth, and I got this fucked up shoulder, but, you know, I'm in pretty good shape. The last time I got laid with no help from a blue pill was the Obama administration. Uh, literally, Barack Obama uh, was in the White House the last time Sam Mitchell got laid. I remember my dear sweet ex-wife, uh, so, someone asking her uh, if uh, has, has Sam tried Viagra and she bursts out laughing and she said, I need a damn pill to keep that thing down, not up. I anyway, I think I'm getting way off course of uh, this rambling rant. But anyway, uh, this is way uh, TMI. I, I forget which channel I'm on sometime. Uh, but do tune in to, uh, to Elliot Jacobson and I will either be uh, late tomorrow night 
or Thursday morning, uh, you could you, you can find that entertaining. Ain't gonna happen, rant. But uh, I got some dinner that's got to happen right now, while I still can. You already had your dinner. After knocking over my drink today. Are you proud of yourself knocking over my, my sunset margarita? First drink I've had in two days. But did you think that was funny? He said, Pop, it was pretty funny. The, the people on the dock got a huge laugh out of it. Everyone thought that was the funniest damn thing, that dog knocking over my drink. He got a big round of laughter. Fucking dog. Bye, guys.